sit back and listen to this story. Everyone will be happy to hear this. The development of culture, in fact, is concentrated in what stories people tell each other and in what ways they do it. This was starting from ancient cave paintings that told people about successful and not very successful hunts to 3D cinema and computer games. About 300 years ago in China, someone illustrated their story with the help of fabric with characters drawn on it. Since the performance took place in the evening, under an oil lamp, soon the pictures turned into contours that were clearly visible in the light, and then they were transformed into dolls behind the canvas. That is exactly how the very first shadow theater in the world was born. But the main bearer of the narrative still remained cues or a song on the backdrop of changing scenes. The modern shadow theater is completely different. It does not need words to tell a story. We're the Ukrainian group of the Shadow Theater Verba. We speak the same language with the whole world. That is, we're understood both in China and in the US by deaf or mute children and adults. Mila Kiselitsia from Chernihiv leads the troupe, which has already become famous throughout the world. The performance of the Ukrainian Shadow Theater at the American Talent Show in 2019 made its artists international stars, despite the fact that they told the Ukrainian story about the love and war. I have a lot of comments and probably more than 4 million views on the video, I believe. Moreover, this popularity of the video very quickly gained momentum, and a lot of people wrote from Vietnam or from Syria. They said that we showed the story of their father or brother. What way did the student theater go along before it turned into a sensation all over the world? How exactly did it gain such fame and how can one tell an interesting story with the help of shadows? UATV went to Chernihiv to look into the holiest of holy in the theater behind the stage where all the magic happens. This is a young art in terms of the scale on which we work. We simply collect figures from human bodies. This is a unique and interesting mix of several genres. That is, we try to combine dance practice, acting and acrobatics all at the same time. And of course, there is an element of circus acts. Let's put it this way, we're multi-professionals in certain genres. It all started as a student project in Chernihiv in 2010. Mila in her childhood was engaged in rhythmic gymnastics, and being a second-year student, she got a chance to see a great performance of the American Shadow Theater on the Internet. There was no full performance, only some parts, so we decided to take the plot as a basis. Honestly speaking, we ripped off all the figures, but we actually created them ourselves. That is, we did not see how they make them behind the stage. This is how the art of creating shadows began here. Mila remembers quite well that it could take three or four hours to make one figure. But victories in several student competitions inspired the troupe, and Vladislav Polichuk began to stand out as a stage director who directed the work of artists. We were students at that time, and I must say that each of the activists of the acting department of the Polytechnic University gathered there and offered something. We proposed different ideas, and I began to notice that I really liked this genre. Later I studied everything about directing, as prior to that I was an amateur actor. Now the Shadow Theater has at its disposal any hall of Chernihiv, which is equipped with the most state-of-the-art equipment. At the beginning there was no money for that. We used a mobile phone flashlight and a bed sheet. At that time, there was no talk of any kind of projector or powerful lighting. The screen was provided to us by our university, and someone who had money had a mobile phone. One of the parents presented us a projector, so we took advantage of it. Later we bought an LED flashlight and made a box for it. Of course, it shone slightly better than a flashlight of a mobile phone. Mila and Vladislav understood then, they could show not only a series of static figures, but also play out a large dynamic plot. Thanks to television fame after Ukrainian TV shows, and after graduating from university, the main part of the troupe didn't think of leaving the group and seeking another job. Then the Shadow Theater received many offers, including giving performances and engaging in many joint projects. We have a tradition of going to some kind of talent show every year and showing what we can do in a number of different countries. Therefore, we have existed for nine years and we have nine talent shows. While the artists gained experience in shadow expression, they often created productions based on famous stories, for example, fairy tales about Aladdin or the Titanic. At the same time, we were working on the original theme and one of them attracted the attention of some international environmental organizations.
a powerful staging and a strong subject. Now we're thinking about figures and think, my goodness, they asked us to make a show about the destruction of nature, although only in the context of Asian nature, for example, what is happening in those countries. What artistic techniques and original solutions did the Ukrainian Shadow Theatre come up with? What takes the most time in preparing the shows? And what does it feel like for an artist not to see your public? Especially for UATV, Mila Kiselitsa and Vladislav Polishuk tell its viewers exactly how it's made. The Shadow Puppet Theatres were almost flat. That is, the figures were located approximately at the same distance from the screen or from the lighting. Here, artists can be at different distances. That is, in order to be close to the projector, the figure must be enlarged, but when it is close to the canvas, it should be smaller. The large shadow is less saturated. It is gray, small with the highest density. In essence, these are visual notes, and in order to play a symphony, you need a coordinated system based on your own musical notes. We have such a small secret. On this scenic linoleum we make labels. In other words, if we have a picture of an elephant on the linoleum, then everyone should stand on a certain mark, at a certain position, so that the picture fits together. And we're training the way to this position. If at least one person does not stand exactly on the marking, it turns out that we have a part of an elephant's body and a person standing next to it. Vladislav would be happy to collect figures only from artists, but not everything is possible to show with body shadows. For the sake of simplification and greater expressiveness, you have to use props. For example, the board of the Titanic. Its crews are plastic figures. Using props is also an important element of the art of the shadow theater, because certain props must be shown in a certain place on the screen. But we do not put props on the screen. Just imagine that the distance to the screen is, for example, 3 meters, and a person should get an additional part inside the body of a person. Such training takes not just one hour. This must be done so that the viewer sees the trick. The producer of props, Lisa Sokolova, cuts out all the necessary figures from plastic. She has been in the troupe from the very beginning and over the years has developed her own system so that it is easier for artists to orient themselves in the process. Each number corresponds to a specific color. That is, for Alice and Titanic, we use a pinkish color. For Mermaid, the color will probably be blue or turquoise. Mm -hmm. In the shade, in the dark, or on the black linoleum, they have to find quickly some details and use them. These are the basic elements of any modern shadow theater. The main thing that distinguishes them is the script and specific narrative tricks. The main idea, as in any art, is primary. The basis of the matter is a scene of figures. For example, in the Titanic you need to show a form of transport in which the heroes go to the port, pipes, screws, the bow of the ship, and so on. When you make a figure, it should be clear what kind of figure it is. That is, if you convey to a person that this is a shark, but they see a plane, then it's still a plane. You made the figure wrong. There are figures for 8 to 10 people. You imagine, it is necessary to make a single organism from the figure, and we always work hard, so that the figure does not look like a jelly. Here a man stood up, and he should stand in a static state for a while. We train artists in all of these details, because the clarity of the figures highly depends on this factor. The main difficulty for the director is to come up with dynamic transitions between figures and scenes, so that what is happening behind the screen does not look like some chaotic confusion. We are looking for ways and logistics, because our genre is still mired in a small complexity of darkness. We, for example, have 8 to 10 people participating there. With us someone can crush into someone else. Imagine that the projector is shining, and at this time you go on the screen, and if you turn your head, then you will simply go blind. Even a minor mistake of one artist can cause a chain reaction. A hitch in the choreography will destroy the figure, put the props in the wrong place, the next one will not pick it up, and the decoration will be incomplete. 
Here, a comparison is not more suitable with a symphony, but with clockwork. Each person at a certain second or at a certain moment should take a specific action. For example, put props up, put up a cardboard, put on a suit or something else. A four or five minute chill and every person knows what they're supposed to do at what point when they're on the stage. Practicing of multifaceted figures, movements and choreography for such a show of five minutes takes two to three months of almost daily rehearsals. For the performance at a talent show in the US, simply doing a number well was not enough. The organizers of the show set the task for themselves of creating a vibrant and emotional story that would catch the attention of millions of viewers. Ukrainian artists decided to use an innovative technique, which experts in this field consider to be one of the first innovations in the world. In front of this screen, a 3D screen is hung in the meter. The projector lights up on the 3D screen on which animation and a high-volume image is united. We also put people in front of the stage in between the screens. That is, our main characters are between the screens and the stage like in a standard American Hollywood film. However, the 3D effect is also just a narrative. Telling the story about the family in the war, it was necessary to take drama to a new level. The Ukrainian artists had to radically change the prepared film and attract third-party hired professionals. Volodymyr Maryan, a very famous director, and his wife Irina Maryna are working in Ukraine. The war motive is his theme and his brainchild. We are positioning it such that this is about a Ukrainian soldier and that this is a true story of person, which takes place in 2019. Who would have thought? To this day, the Ukrainian Shadow Theater has not revealed the secrets of this production and does not show it on camera. When you perform, when you live through emotions, you hold on to yourself and your feelings. But then, after the performance, you can simply break out into tears. And we realized that we actually showed not an exclusively Ukrainian topic, rather a global one. To bring to tears millions of viewers from different countries who speak different languages, this can only be done with the help of shadows and music. This is how legends of stage art are born. Ukrainian artists are preparing new stories that will tell about Ukraine like nobody has ever told before.